Good evening and welcome to the news. Uh, as of next uh, week, uh, five students uh, from the Maritime Academy will start the second leg of an expedition to pick up fads in the sea around the outer islands together with the Seychelles Coast Guards. A lecturer from the Academy will also be accompanying the crew on the cleanup expedition. There was a presentation uh, held to better prepare the participants before they leave for the expedition. Expedition. During the first expedition last year, 21 fads were collected, of which 11 were found on St. Joseph Island. The first symposium for reef-friendly sunscreen was held this afternoon at Story Hotel. People for Ocean, an Australian company in collaboration with the Tourism Department, gathered a group of scientists, hoteliers and non-governmental organizations. Discussions was held on the dangers of chemicals used in 90% of sunscreens available on the retail market, particularly the dangerous effects on coral reefs. Simon Darcy Abbott, a representative of People for Ocean, says that they aim to educate the population on the importance of using reef-friendly sunscreen. We never realised that there was uh, a toxic nature involved in sun cream, so obviously seeing the branding on their bottles sort of shocked us and we wanted to find out more, why is this one saying this, and all of them, all of the rest don't say that. So once we found out that 90 to 95 percent of all the sun cream in the world that's sold actually is killing coral and bleaching coral and damaging marine life and to be honest even some of them are hurting human beings as well with the chemicals that they've got in there it was it almost became almost like a no-brainer for us to try and sort of help this small Australian brand get their message out into Europe and to the Indian Ocean. We're not just looking to sort of try and push the product we're involved in. If, if people want to buy any of the Ocean Safe products, that's, that's our goal, to be honest. The Prison Services and the Anti-Corruption Commission, ACCS, have signed an MOU in line with having a corruption-free prison service. The Commissioner of Prison Services, Raymond Saint-Ange, says that corruption is not tolerated within the prison system and that the new partnership with the ACCS will help curb such activities. The Baha'i community in Seychelles is celebrating uh, Nowruz, uh, the first day of the Baha'i uh, calendar, which marks the end of 19 days of fasting. To mark the occasion, President Wivel Ramkalawan has sent good wishes to the followers of the faith. He commanded them on their efforts to bring love and harmony through the teaching of the Baha'i faith as well as trying to educate the younger generation about morality and spirituality. The National Spiritual Assembly has also sent greetings to everyone. The Assembly said it hoped this new year brings renewed hope, unity and spiritual growth as people strive to create a harmonious and loving community. The Minister for Employment and Social Affairs, Patricia Franco, is paying special tribute to women in social work whom she said have been propelling the profession for years. Mrs. Franco's message is to mark World Social Work Day tomorrow, which is being celebrated under the theme Respecting Diversity Through Joint Social Action. She has called on people to recognize past and present uh, female social workers, determination and passion. Minister Franco also pointed out that the various challenges they faced contributed to social workers' exhaustion and mental fatigue. She has concluded her message by thanking those in this field for their inspirational and humane arts. We've come to the end of this news summary. Thank you for watching.